What's going on guys? Uh, <laughs> forgot my name for a second. <laughs> Let's do that again. What's going on guys? Zach here and today's video is on refeed days. So I'm joined again by Bear and I've got my notes on here. So in case I didn't want to forget anything to talk about. But essentially today's video, I'll talk about refeed days, what it is. I'll go through my refeed day that I just had most recently. Um, so today I'll tell you a little bit about it first before you guys, before you actually see the food. Uh, and then we'll do a cooking video later. So essentially, um, what a refeed day is, is it's a day where you increase calories mainly from carbohydrates, like a lot from carbohydrates, a variety of benefits here, which I'll go over. And I've just started introducing this into my cut at this point. So if you're doing a lean bulk or a bulk, you don't need refeed days. Every day is basically a refeed. But if you're cutting and you're slowly reducing calories and carbs, your body can sometimes need it. So a bit of context, in the past, what, uh, probably two weeks, my cut's getting pretty serious, and I started to get uh, feel a little bit flat. So I'd finished my cardio in the morning, and I'd look a little bit skinnier, um, look a little bit stringy, and I thought I definitely need some carbs in the system. So I've recently had my first refeed, and I'll basically show you exactly what I did. And I felt great. So I looked a lot better two days later, a bit lighter again, and I, it really was what my body needed. So I thought I'll talk about refeeds, you know, pros and cons as well. So essentially the benefits of a refeed, there's a couple different kinds of refeeds as well. You can have a single day refeed, like, which is usually once a week. That's what I'll be doing. Or you can have a double refeed, which where you diet for like 10 days or two weeks, and then you have two days of refeeding. So each serve different uh, purposes. So one benefit of refeed is a glycogen replenishment. So when you're decreasing carbs and you're training a lot, your, your glycogen's your muscle storage of carbs. So that gets depleted, that's when you feel skinny and quite weak, and that's where I was at. So I wanted to refeed to increase, you right? Um, pull up a chair there. Come on. I don't know if you guys can see her, but she's, she's chilling. Um, so I wanted to refeed to increase muscle glycogen so I could perform in the gym better, feel a lot better, um, and yeah, still keep that performance up while still dieting. Uh, and again, mental too. So this, this has a mental benefit because I get a, a day of the week where I can eat a lot of carbs um, and it feels like you're bulking again, so it's pretty nice. Um, and then the other benefit of refeed, which is probably the most overstated, is the uh, reversing the adaptations of cutting. So as you guys know, when you're dieting and you're reducing your calories over a long period of time, your body adapts and you, get an, it, you start to plateau. And so the idea of a refeed is meant to be that it's gonna stop those adaptations and you, do, and you won't adapt as quick. So you can eat more calories, um, you're not gonna lose muscle, you don't need to keep decreasing, you're not gonna plateau. That's what it says, that's what people will talk about. But um, essentially, if you look at the research, it's only a double day refeed or more, like three or four days it has this, because if you guys think about it, that signal of the excess of, of calories, that's calorie surplus coming in, it's meant to be like your body says, okay, we're not dieting anymore, we don't need to go crazy and, and plateau, um, we've got enough food in the system, let's keep the fat burning hormones high. That's, that's, that's the logic behind it. But if you do a day of that, your body's not gonna freak out and go, okay, we've got heaps of calories. A day is nothing in the scheme of things. You need to do it for like two days or three days. So your body goes, okay, we really do have enough food now, it's okay, we, we don't need to freak out, you know? Does that make sense? So that's why a single day refeed, probably not gonna do a lot in terms of your fat burning hormones and leptin. It might get a, a, uh, a quick uh, spike in that, but I, don't, I think it'll come down quite quickly because you're dieting again in like another 12 hours. Um, but so if you guys wanted to do the one for the adaptations, then you kind of need a diet for two weeks followed by a couple day refeeds, okay? Um, but for me, I'm not too stressed about that now. I just want the glycogen benefits as well as a bit of mental benefits. So, and just to see how my body responds. It's cool to see the difference in, in how you look days apart. This photo was taken the day after my refeed. This photo was taken the day after that. So if I can notice the differences there in like quad separation and abs as well. Um, so it just shows I can, I'm working with my body to see how responsive it's getting during this cut. Um, anyway, that's enough on that. Um, now, how to have a refeed. So the, like I said, the benefits of a refeed come from the cut increases in carbohydrates mainly, but also calories. So if you're doing a single day refeed, you really want to keep the carbs high. So I've been jacking my carbs up to about 500. Um, and that was perfect, so what you can do is just play around with that. There is no set number, guys, there's no rule. Just bump them up, see how you look. If you look a bit watery and, and shit a couple days later, a day later, you had too much, you spilled over. Um, but if you could handle more, then just push it and see how, how much you can handle. So I've done it before, of having, I was having at least 600 grams of carbs, looking good, and this time I've, I've had 500, so we'll just, we'll just play it by ear. If you're doing it for hormonal benefits, then it really is just an increase of calories. So you can get that from fats, you can get it from carbs, um, it's essentially whatever. But um, for, for today, we're gonna keep fats quite low. We're gonna keep protein moderate, like to normal, um, because we don't wanna increase fats too much because then we're blowing out calories. 
So the calories still matter because at the end of the week, we've got to set, we've got to get a net deficit. We've got to get a big net deficit. So if you're going crazy with a cheat day on, on your carb day, it's really not gonna be beneficial. You'll be eating 3000 calorie surplus and you're making a 3000 calorie deficit during the week. So pointless. Uh, so what we're gonna do is fats are gonna be around 50, I hope. Uh, protein's gonna be normal, carbs are gonna be very high. So that way we're controlling for calories, but jacking up the carbs. So on that, like I was gonna talk a little bit about what not to do, and that's simply just don't have a binge day. The best thing about the carb day, in my opinion, is that mental side of things, but it doesn't mean you guys need to go crazy and get every bit of food that you've been craving. It's just be sensible about it. Think, um, you know, you're still dieting. You're not, it's not the day where you, you forget about dieting, you're still dieting. So that's why I like to keep the foods relatively clean um, because you, you don't feel like then you're going all out. It's like it's still controlled, but how good is this? I get to eat a shitload of sweet potato. So like, that's why I like it that way. Um, and then what I've done in the past too is get some sugars in because yeah, that feels great. So today we're making a birch and muesli for breakfast because I just love it. I don't know why I've been making it for my brother, it's sick. But uh, in the past, I used to have like a whole box of Milo cereal. So I don't know if you guys get that outside of Australia, but it's just the best, it's the shit. So uh, if you wanna have like a heap of cereal, do that. That'll feel like a, a cheat meal. It's just shitload of sugars, um, so that's fine. Also, in the past, I've had like really, really clean, and then for dinner, I'll go out for dinner, and I'll kind of improvise, and I, like the other night, I had a shitload of sushi, so it was heaven. It still feels like a cheat meal, but you're not going over the top and feeling sick. That's that, guys. Hafey's gonna get here very shortly. Big dick Hafey. Malaysian with the biggest dick in all the land. Proven Guinness Book of World Records as well. Um, so he's gonna get here and he's got a new lens that he wants to test out. So no doubt you'll be seeing some epic cinematics of some food. But today's quite boring though, to be honest with you. We've got like bircher, we've got an omelet with sweet potato, we've got two chicken and rice meals, and then we've got a post-workout meal. So um, it's quite boring, but it gives you guys a bit of information and insight. So uh, I guess we'll see you when Big Dick Hafey gets here. The Big Dick Hafey, what's going on? Hey, what right, <laughs> Before we start, get you together on camera, Hafey. Let's go. <laughs> You just hear a thud. Ready for an epic cooking video today? Yep. Check it out. I prepped. Ready? Yeah, I'm getting ready. Been waiting here for like three hours. I'm sorry mate, this is my first time being late. True, I'm always late. Usually it's me that's, that's late to Hafey. He's waiting for like an hour, two hours usually, but the tables are turned finally. So, new lens? Yeah, new stuff. Yeah. Let's test it out. Alright, so, the first thing we're going to do is Get this sweet potato ready. We're making sweet potato chips. So um, this needs to be washed, cut, cooked, and then we'll do the chicken, and then everything else is very easy, and basically, it's basically cooked already. So, Hafey, let's, uh, let's scrub this bad boy. We've given a potato a bath before, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> this is the way I like to do it, guys. Don't judge. Each to their own. Nice and clean. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna parboil the sweet potatoes, meaning you basically half cook them, and then we're gonna bake them. Because that way they're easy to bake, they don't really dry out, and then they're still kind of soft in the middle. So that should only take about 10 minutes, I think, and then finish them off with about 20 minutes in the oven. But if you wanna be a savage, just chuck them in the microwave and then you'll be done. Uh, and then the chicken, so. We've got Nando's Giza, Perry chicken. This is just, you can't beat it, it's just the shit. Um, and we're just doing tenders. So a couple of meals of chicken today, one glove, Chef Michael Jackson. Get this glove out of Oh, I've ruined it, I've got, <laughs> got a wet hand, it looks disgusting. It looks like an alien. Okay, it's the most unflattering glove imagery you guys will ever see. <laughs> we got there. So we don't want too much protein, that's why we're just using tenders. So three of these per meal will be more than enough. Massage it in. So these are going in for about 13 minutes. 205. Just get this timer going. Timing. Um, next, what have we got next? We can do the eggs, I guess. Oh, we'll get the chicken ready. So we've got some rice meals as well. Now today I'm being very lazy, you guys. Usually I cook, cook it in the rice cooker, but we're going with some Pre-made, already flavored, this one's flavored, this one's normal. Um, just basmati rice, so I was lazy. I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered. Still, and it tastes good, like if you guys want to change too, it's good to get the, the flavored ones. So a couple minutes in the microwave, these will be good to go. So we're doing an omelet as well for breakfast, off of one of the meals. Oh, we've got a double, yes. Double yolk. Check it out. Siamese twins of eggs. 
And we got them. So the trick with omelets is get a really hot pan. Um, don't add any seasonings yet. You just cook the eggs by itself um, with either butter or oils. Um, we use oil today just because if you use butter in a hot pan, it tends to burn quite quick. But um, that'll take like two seconds. It'll be cooked in a second. So I'll get the, the muesli ready. So this is something that I made up not long ago for my brother, and I just think it's the best thing on the planet. So get any birch and muesli you like. It has got a bit of fats in it, but um, this just has oats with some dried fruit, basically. So birch up, and you add some orange juice just to cover it. Then uh, a bit of whey protein, vanilla tastes spot on, and then uh, put some yogurt on top. So what you guys would do is leave that in the fridge overnight, ideally, and then it comes out perfect the next day. So uh, we're just gonna prep this as if we're doing it. See, that's just covered. So overnight, that it all soak in. Perfect. Now we're going vanilla oxy whey. This just tastes phenomenal. Hey, if you put the code in. Ding. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna mix that up. Sick. Usually I don't mix this, I'll just, I know it looks weird, but I'll just leave it like that, and that's like good to go, because in the morning you mix it all together. So that's one meal, done. Let's put that there. These are pretty much half done now. So you don't need to cook them all the way through fully. Just cook them until they're basically nearly done. Half cooked, like Hafey all the time. This guy's half cooked. <laughs> right, now this is, this is where it gets funky, because you want to drain it, but at the same time, I don't want to give myself a third degree burn, so. Mm. I, could use, I could use a strainer. Yeah, I'll do it for the video. Oh. Did it. There we go. Not too bad. So, important thing as well, guys, is dry these off pretty well. Otherwise, it's going to take a while to cook. And because it is refeed day where calories are pretty high, um, we're going to indulge in the oil. So, if you guys are making sweet potato chips, it just... They taste so much better. Any like potato in the uh, in the oven with oil. So we're not gonna get too carried away. <laughs> to be honest, I just like messing with you guys because everybody says that I just drown everything in olive oil. So um, I'm doing it again. Uh, and also, can't forget some garlic powder. And we've got some uh, paprika as well. This gives a little nice little kick. And then obviously just salt. Where is it? Here we go. Now I've got to mix that somehow. I don't want my hands getting all oily. Glove? Yep. Yeah, glove. Chicken's got another five minutes. Now also what we've got is just some vegetables. So I've been going for the old um, snow pea and sugar snap combo lately. These are just heaven. Um, Bear loves them. Get some, get some close up of this happy. Froths it. She'll take it away now, I bet. No. <laughs> the one that got away. Oh wow. Show sure, happy bear. And the secret ingredient, guys, if you want to make vegetables taste sick, just the perinase. So I put this on every meal with green veggies, just a little bit is all you need, because it is like a light mayo. So it's still got calories, but not a lot. So we'll have that. See, this is like heaven. I mean, if, if you're complaining about not having a cheat day, this is just, this is the best. I always salt my rice as well. Call it weird. You got oil? I don't, not my rice actually. I think that's actually got oil in it because it's like pre-flavored. Um, done, done. Veggies, chicken. All right, post workout meal. So you guys have seen this a million times. It's just the old rice flakes with isopept or oxy whey. I've just run out of isopept, that's all. So we're gonna do about 140 of these. Usually it's 100, but we'll do 140 just for, for the refeed. And we've got some of the good cinnamon. So this, Check how much cinnamon we got here. Do a cinnamon challenge today. 
So this is actually quality cinnamon. It's different to what you get in the, in the supermarket. So you can have a lot of it. So I have a tablespoon for the insulin sensitivity benefits. So you'll utilize carbs better. And I will show you guys the pack as well. But if you guys want to get your hands on this cinnamon, that's the one. It's a whole kilo. So if you can find it, find it. Because it, it tastes like literally 10 times better than all the other ones. So. <laughs> Thoughts, Avi? Good? It's good. It's good. So that's why you can literally, this is how much I have in my post workout meal all the time. Sweet. Sweet. It's literally pure cinnamon. But I think the other ones might have additives in there or something to make it taste stronger because it's not that strong. Anyway. Cinnamon, rice flakes, protein. And frozen berries. Oh, I came out quick. All right, so that one's done. Just needs almond milk. Oh, that's hot. <clears throat> so I've just been salting the vegetables and a bit of Perinase. Heaven. Chicken timer. Oh. Perfect. Done. The chicken's done. Yep. Also, this is a little hack for you guys. In case you didn't realize, this is why I double layer it. So you can, uh, there's no dishes if you do it properly. Yeah. Zero dishes. You better be hungry, Havy. You're eating all of this. <laughs> you can have one of them. I've turned it up, so hopefully I don't burn them because I'm running out of time. I have to, I'm going to put my whole hand on this pan. And then the trick is if your hand comes up bleeding, it's hot. <laughs> There we go, that's getting real hot. So if I put butter on that, it'll just burn in like two seconds. So that's why I'm using a high smoke point oil, coconut oil. Just makes it easy when you use a lot of oil because the eggs just separate. So I actually like my omelettes a little bit, little bit runny. So that's why if you look there, it's still a tad runny there. But on the inside, it starts, it, it'll keep cooking because it's still quite hot. So, but that, that for me is like perfect. So I'm sorry if I offended anybody by undercooking my omelet. I'm, I'm very sorry, but that's how I like it. So we could cook them a little more, but I'm very impatient today. So that's, that'll be good enough. Done. Oh. Oh, stop. Yep. <clears throat> so this is the full refeed day. Basically exactly the same thing as I had the other day. We've got, this is what I had this, the, in the morning. This was breakfast, eggs and sweet potato. Then we had a couple of meals of uh, chicken and rice throughout the day. This was a pre-workout meal, bircher. And then the post-workout meal was standard. So hey, if you get a mad cinematic and we'll chuck the macros in all here. So, mm, no, no. that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to try this with the recipes and stuff, do it. Just adjust the 
the carbs to meet your needs. So like I said, I'm shooting for around 500, but um, just give or take the amount to get what you guys you know, really need. So then you can, ta you can take it from there. But that is it. Hey, do you have anything else to add? No, he's good. Um, that is it for me. Bear, tell them what they should do. Bear, tell them. Go. <laughs> that means stay massive.